Hello, this is Kelly Swindle, and this is Live in the Living Room. If you love somebody enough, you follow wherever they go. That's how I got to Memphis. That's how I got to Memphis. If you love somebody enough, you go where your heart wants to go. That's how I got to Memphis. That's how I got to Memphis I know if you see her you tell me Cause you are my friend I've got to find her and find out the trouble she's in If you tell me that she's not here That's how I got to Memphis She would get mad and she used to say She'd come back to Memphis someday that's how I got to Memphis That's how I got to Memphis I haven't eaten a bite Or slept for three days and night That's how I got to Memphis That's how I got to Memphis Well, I've got to find her That's how I got to Memphis That's how I got to Memphis Welcome back to Live in the Living Room. I'm Dom from Country Chat with Dom, and this is the first episode of 2023. So with that being said, I hope you've all had a happy new year and January has been as great as you've hoped it to be. If you're new to the show, I'm Dom, and I'll be introducing you to the acts from around the world who are performing in their own living rooms just for you. Be sure to follow and subscribe each of the artists as always, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the bell just below so you don't miss any of the shows. Now kicking us off today was the Brother Brothers with How I Got to Memphis, which is a Tom T. Hall cover. Absolutely fantastic. Now be sure to give the Brother Brothers a follow on their social medias. The handles are just below. You won't be disappointed. Now throughout the links today, between the tracks, you'll get to see me talking and in the background, you'll hear some music. And what we're doing is we're playing some snippets of artists so you get a feel for more music and be sure to give it a download if you do like it. Right now, playing is Jason Callier with Fortunate Sons. Now coming up next here on Live in the Living Room is Taylor the Chapter with the song Burn. Something on your mind 
chapter with burn be sure to give him a follow on their social medias the handles are just below in the background now you can hear sarah louise an absolutely amazing artist that you should really give a follow on her social just search sarah louise music with her song my grandparents and me absolutely great song now coming up next here on live in the living room is liam wakefield
Live in fear of being criticized Why you so damn loud when you got nothing good you want to say Why you so damn loud but have nothing good to say absolutely brilliant make sure you give him a follow on all of his socials which again are just below in the background is poppy fardell with double denim such a great great song so yes you're tuning into live in the living room with me dom make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on the bell and keep up to date with all the amazing performances from great artists that we get to have here on live in the living room now coming up next is our once to watch segment which is chosen by the fabulous jess t Welcome to the Ones to Watch segment in this month's Live in the Living Room. The fabulous Jess T has chosen four great artists that you should keep an eye on as they'll be making some big waves. The first artist is Liam Wakefield, who is a British Forces veteran and a mental health ambassador. He has also partnered with the fabulous Jessica Lynn and released the brilliant song called You Save Me, which was released back in November 2022. Next is No Boland. No Boland is an up and coming country singer songwriter, taking the Irish country scene by storm. Hailing from the beautiful Wicklow Hills in Ireland, he has been gigging in venues throughout the country for over 10 years. In early 2020, Noel decided it was time to start recording and releasing his own material that has hit the ground running. And since Noel's last four original songs, Always in My Heart, Out of My Mind, Heart Don't Lie, and Again With You, have all hit the number one spot in the charts. As a result of this, in early 2022, Noel signed his first publishing deal with renowned Irish company, Bardis Music Co Limited. Now up now is the next artist chosen by Jess in our Ones to Watch segment. It's Leaving Over Morrow, who are a four-piece vocal harmony band from my neck of the woods in Leeds. They released their debut album, This Too Shall Pass, in December 2022. Definitely, definitely an album to check out. Now finally we have Tim Oliver. Born and raised out of Columbus, Ohio, Tim spent the vast majority of his childhood on the banks of the Muskegon River. Now, Tim Oliver also released his debut single, Too Young, back in 2020, and has released at least three additional songs since. 
That is the ones to watch this week. As chosen by Jess T, be sure to give each one of them a follow. Check out the socials and get to a gig if you can. Make sure you're following Jess T as well, and there's a reason why we call her the Angel of the Airwaves. Till next time, bye for now. That was the ones to watch segment, which was created and chosen by Jess T. Absolutely brilliant selection of artists and in the background right now is the absolutely brilliant tim protty jones with drinking for three now coming up later on in the year in april we have our live in the living room gives back then tickets are available so be sure to head on over to our facebook page any of our socials and get a ticket pre-bought we look forward to seeing you there in april it's gonna be at the bedford which is in uh, london so I'll be there hosting as always and there's going to be so much great music. Now we'll be raising money for Dementia UK and it's such a big, big cause that's close to myself and close to James as well. So be sure to get your tickets and we'll get as much raised as possible. Now coming next here on Live in the Living Room is Amy Jo with her song February 14th.
That was Amy Jo with her song, February 14th, here on Live and Living, as chosen by Bells and Gals. Absolutely brilliant. In the background right now, you can hear Trisha Longford with Waterfall. Such a great, great song. Be sure to get it downloaded, put it into your Spotify playlist, whatever you do with your music, however you get it, be sure to get it downloaded right now. Absolutely great. Now, coming up next here on Live and Living Room is the absolutely fantastic fantastic girl crush with katie o'malley this is voice of a woman and i'm here to talk about girl crush and this week's girl crush is or this month should i say this month's girl crush is none other than the fabulous manchester americana indie pop vibes of katie o'malley she is absolute class and just to give you a little taster, this is a live version that they've chosen to play of her new latest single called Wasted. Have a listen to this. Addicted to your drug, gasoline's fire, blow on the for all your own love. Up and craving for your love. What is it about Katie O'Malley? I just think she is possibly one of the most underrated artists in the industry. The tone and quality to her voice is second to none. You don't give any many voices that sound like that. It's very distinctive. Very distinctive her, her style. The way she performs, the way she sings a song, it's... She closes her eyes and she's lost in the music and I just love that. The rock vibes, when I saw her live at Buckle and Boots, she just impressed me with her performance, her songs and just everything about her. I just, I totally admire everything she's doing, everything, the sound that she comes out with and what's going to happen next. And I just hope that she gets the awards, the awards and recognitions that she so rightly deserves because she is class. Um, there's a, one of our songs about the music industry, and it's called Traveller, where musicians are travelling and they're lonely, I suppose, travelling from place to place. And it's fun being there in the night with all the crowd, but then after the show and going to back to the hotel room and travelling, it can probably sometimes be a lonely place. And that's what that song's about. She is just class and if you haven't heard of Katie O'Malley please 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 go and check her out because she is unbelievable she is one of the the best that the UK has to offer she's Manchester based and if you get a chance to go and see her live then do so um, she is absolute class I can't say any more good things about her just go and check her out I'm crushing on Katie O'Malley this month and I hope that you will go and check her out and let me know what you think of her. And I will see you again in April on Alive in the Living Room in the Bedford. Tickets are now on sale and hopefully maybe Katie O'Malley will do one of them one of these days. Thanks for listening, Voice for Women. Uh, go and find me anywhere, Voice of Women, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And you can go and find Katie O'Malley as well. The links will be put below and you'll be able to find her wherever. She is on Instagram and Twitter and Spotify. Go and listen and go and check her out. And thanks for listening. See you soon. Girl Crush by Katie O'Malley. If you haven't had a chance yet to give Katie a follow on her socials, now is your chance. Her handles are just below. Now in the background, you'll be able to hear SJ Mortimer with Hear Me Lover. 
absolutely brilliant song. Be sure to get that downloaded as well. Now, coming up next is Leaving Overmorrow, which is Jess T's pick. And here they are with The Hill. Was leaving Overmorrow here on Live in the Room with the song The Hill, which is Jess T's pick. Such a great, great song. The handles are just below, so be sure to give them a follow. 
absolutely, absolutely amazing. Simply just love their music. Now in the background, you'll be able to hear Isaac Hoskins with H-Town Turnaround. Another great, great song. So if you do like it, be sure to give it a download. Now next up here on Live in the Living Room is the conversation I had with the simply brilliant Kelly Swindle. But first, here is a performance with The Love You Leave. Not long ago, my daddy died, and I went to see a woman connected to the other side. He came through, clear as day. Well, as I knew he would, he had some things to say. He said, someday, girl's life, you know it's over. You'll be looking back at all you've done and seen. It'll be playing back in front of you like on the picture screen. You'll have less regrets at just these words you hear. Don't be afraid, don't live in fear, don't let that light inside your heart fade, it's the reason you are here, troubles they'll come, well that's okay, it's part of being human, that's the reason that you came, someday girl this life you know it's over. You'll be looking back at all you've done and seen. It'll be playing back in front of you like on a picture screen. You'll regret those times you let fear take the lead. Always be kind, no matter what. You may think know what's up for someone else well you do not we tend to fear things we don't know so when someone who think is different maybe learn things they can show someday girl this life you know it's over you'll be looking back at all you done and seen it'll be play back in front of you like on a picture screen you'll regret those times that you chose to be me you got that light let it shine bright it lives inside your heart it brings day to any night it feels like love it's warm and free So when your head just don't know where to go Close your eyes, your heart will leap Cause someday, girl, this life, you know it's over You'll be looking back at home, you're done and insane It'll be playing back in front of you Like on a picture screen And you will see Oh, all that really mattered is love you leave. Love you leave. It's a love you leave. Love you leave. It's a love you leave. Love you leave. It's all that really matters. I love you, Lee. The end. Hey, it's me here on Live in the Living Room. I've got the absolutely fantastic Kelly Swindle here with me on Live in the Living Room. How are you doing, Kelly? 
Hello, Dom. I'm wonderful. I'm good. I'm 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 better now. I mean that because it's it's so lovely to to chat with you and talk music and the UK makes me so happy when I think back about the shows and going there soon. So we're in a this is a nice happy place. So I'm excellent. <laughs> it's absolutely insane because I first met you when you came to the UK on your tour uh, for you can call me down if you want and you was promoting your like your yellow t-shirts and everything was happy and I was like oh I definitely need to see you again. And before I knew you came back to the UK and I missed out on the chance to see you again. I was so gutted. But people, you really do need to go watch Kelly play because you take a room by storm. I mean, when you came over, you were supported. Oh, I can't remember the name of him, but it just shows. Jesse Mellon. Yes. Just so people know, like, check him out. But go ahead. <laughs> the thing was the fact that you stole the room. You absolutely nailed it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dom. I, I love that. That's fabulous. That's the intention, you know, to, if, if one is doing a show, standing in front of people, like, and expecting attention, people to pay attention, then I feel like one has a duty to the audience to uh, give them their money's worth and uh, entertain, you know? So that's, thank you for that. That's excellent that you felt that way. I mean, the fact that, you know, we had a chat before the actual show started and then I can't, we kind of like, you know, said goodbye, you know, I went into my seat and then you came to the set and I was taking photos and stuff. And just the whole, atmosphere of the room was just so it, it was t you know tintillating it was I love it. special I mean you had a fan blowing on you and your hair was just sweeping back it was uh, almost like a spotlight the room was dark and it, it was just you and your guitar and you it was amazing if anybody can go watch go watch <laughs> Yes, I love that. I agree with you because that was a special, um, it's always nice too because that was a proper theater. You know, we don't always get to play in proper theaters and it's fine. It doesn't, it can be anywhere, but it's nice to be in a proper theater when it is like people are in, you know, uh, in raised seating, raked seating. And uh, it's, I can't remember if there was an actually a proscenium arch or not, but it was, it's like the illusion of it at least when it's all dark and then there's the spotlight. It feels like you're, you know, something's happening. You're at a show and, uh, and that was very cool that was i remember that place it was awesome <laughs> how has it been since you came to the uk last then you know the most recent one yeah the last tour was uh amazing i mean it, I, I really do feel it's hard to compare them all because especially well literally because they're in different seasons like touring in the dead of winter with snow and is very different than touring in the height of summer in the uk uh very different <laughs> um so it was definitely a different vibe um i had I, a big highlight was london there's this uh country bar it's the only country bar in london um and it's and it's literally like you walk inside and you feel like you're in nashville or like at a honky tonk in texas but you know small and uh, it's called the duke's head and i did two nights there and it was just fabulous because it's great to be around people if people that were there you know you know that they love that music anyway so you're not having to try to win anyone over to like the genre because sometimes you do have to do that or or you just you're just aware of it like oh you know not everyone here you know, like country music but oh, there everyone's like they're already there for it so it was already like up here the level of excitement and awesomeness and then uh it was just when I actually got to play and connect with everyone and they were into the music, that was even better, which is such a good vibe. Can't wait to get back there. So, so you should you should check it out. You should come down and make a trip for it because you will love it being country down. So I'm so excited for when you do come back to the UK because every performance I've seen so far, every kind of like person I've spoken to you, you know, about you has been so highly praised. You know, are you coming back to the UK anytime soon before your big summer, before your big summer fling? Possibly, I can, actually, it, it, so this is one thing I can't say more about because I'm not sure if it's, we have to work, I have to make sure that I can make it happen because it's not, you know, it's no small feat, you know, just jumping over to the UK and jumping back. <laughs> uh, I mean, for me at least, it has to take some planning and resources. So I'm working on that. It may be as early as March, but if not, uh, you know, it's all good. Uh, we're all fine. Uh, July for sure, because I have, I, as you know, I have some dates that are absolutely booked then and we're doing a proper summer tour. But so look, look, may, you may see something around March in the next couple of weeks. And if 
If not, just hold tight till July. It's it's uh, I will you will we will come out in full force then. Now we're talking about you know the summertime. Can you tell us more uh, for those who haven't seen it so far? Can you tell us more about what's happening in? Oh. Yeah, totally. So I'm playing uh, Kendall Calling, uh, most more specifically on the Tim Peaks Diner stage, which is, if y'all don't know this, and I've never obviously, well, not obviously, but I haven't been there um, in person, but from what I've seen and know about it, I mean, first of all, it's a diner inspired by the diner in Twin Peaks, uh, which is just right up my alley, like right up my alley. So already I'm very happy. In my mind, I'm actually thinking, I'm like, oh, I wonder if I could like shoot something there, like a Twin Peaksy weird inspired music video or something. Well, I mean, because they got the diner set up. Why not? Why not use it? Um, so that that's already in my brain, like maybe I can do that while I'm there. Um, so that so it's going to be, you know, it's, it's nice and intimate and it's a, definitely a vibe. It's a real vibe. All the artists there, super cool there there's a lot of artists playing uh my friend jack actually jack valero i don't know if you've gotten to meet jack but he's so lovely um we've been friends now since my i met him in my first tour over there last september or no two septembers ago 2021 and uh yeah we played a lot of shows and been friends ever since he's awesome there's a bunch of other artists that i'm actually checking out today because i'm making a playlist for the tim peaks uh stage playlist like for spotify so i'll share it with you you can share it with anyone listening that's some of the other artists that are going to be playing on uh on this stage in this intimate cool twin peaks lynchian surreal diner so i mean the whole festival just looks outstanding. The fact that there's so many names, there's so many big names as well. Oh, and yeah. see, when I saw your name kind of like crop up at the bottom, it was like, yeah, she, <laughs> she's just, taking it over. <laughs> it's super exciting. I'm so excited to have you back in the UK because you really should. I've, I've always said this, but you should move over here. Just, I, I, you know, I think it's in the stars eventually uh, for, for, I don't know how long, I don't know when, but I definitely feel it. I'm like, I, ever since I got there the first time I was like, oh yeah, I, I feel like I, I need to live here for some time and play and yeah, for sure. Or who knows, maybe it'll turn into a long-term thing, but I agree with you, Dom. I'm not saying no. So for an artist that's mainly based out of say New York City, you're in Nashville at the moment. Yes. How's yeah. it going? Nashville, so Nashville, I have been planning on making moves here for some time. There's always something that like kind of gets in the way or I, I just, I don't know, I did. I So I've been renting a room here for a, a little bit from some friends. We're over up here in Inglewood, which is like, if you know East Nashville, you just keep going East a little bit. Yeah. And um, it's, it, it's awesome because I've been needing to get down here just to get away from the energy of New York. Now that the, like not in a negative way energy but it's just it's it's very hectic and chaotic and very fast paced and when i'm up there i don't know what it is but you know even when i'm trying to take time like all right these days i'm just going to settle down and write lately it's just there's just too much going on and i get i get sucked into oh yeah i'll play this night oh i'll do this i'm like nope i need to go somewhere where it's a little quieter a little slower a lot slower a lot quieter and you know spend some time going inward uh for for lack of a better cliche uh for this next album you know and now's the perfect time to do it too because it's the winter time when we naturally want to you know go inward and 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 hibernate in a way so i'm down here in nashville doing that working on some music and you know come spring i plan on playing out more and just you know getting more into the scene here because there's a lot of great musicians and i it's very heavy on the Americana and country, obviously. It's like the capital of it. So I'm like, that's where I gotta be. But yeah, absolutely. It's great to see you kind of like taking those steps and, you know, recognizing the time to take a step back from, you know, the hustle and bustle of the Big Apple to then take, you know, take a bit of a slower pace, even though Nashville itself could be quite fast paced, you know. Totally, it's, it's totally. It's a different vibe to what it is, you know, in a full, you know, metropolitan city. And, yeah. you know, I totally get the whole, even wanting to just kind of like step away for a bit and just to go back to the country roots, as to say, and, you know, to you know, respark the imagination and, you know, to talk about new music. Can you tell us more about new music, about, about what you've got planned? 
Yeah. Um, well, I'm working on so the, I'm, I'm actually working on two projects right now. One with a friend of mine named uh, Greg Dwayne, Gregory Dwayne, who's also an artist. Uh, you should totally check him out. I'll, I'll send you links. So he's great. He's country Americana. He's based in New York City from North Carolina, though. So we're working on one project together that's a little bit more, I don't know, I'm going to say like, band and traditionally traditional country when I say traditional country that's the wrong word because I don't mean like from like the 40s and the 50s and the 60s I just mean like in terms of like the form and the structure I'm not going to say commercial because it's also not quite that but it's a little bit more like I don't know what you'd hear on Americana radio country yeah as opposed to with you know with the band and with a lot of band and instrumentation because normally I just play on my own as you know so I don't uh, and then I have my other project that's just my own project that is, you know, a solo, very much solo. Any instrumentation on that is going to be just to buttress the songs up, not, you know, very, yeah. very traditional in that sense, like rootsy, folksy. The subject and the subject matter I'm getting into, I think, you know, I did play the song for you, We're Gonna Die, that one song. And then I played the song about my dad when, you know, him passing away and that the love you leave. So those songs will be on it. It's definitely mm -hmm. a very death centric album and i mean that in the most uh i really want to uh confront a lot of people you know in our society and culture it's like death is morbid and it's something we don't talk about and you know have a lot of are, are very uncomfortable with and that's not the case in lots of other cultures and you know in a lot of you know studies specifically i'm, I'm getting i'm getting down a rabbit hole i'll try to jump out of it because there's i could talk about this for a long time but i've been reading a lot of elizabeth kubler ross lately who is like this pioneering woman doctor in the uh, in the 60s and 70s, who really started confronting the problem of death in the in in, in the Western society of how it's we uh, we don't know how to deal with it and in and because of that we don't really live full lives because we we are ignoring a really big uh, part of life and that is that it's finite and that we need to be aware of the fact that we are not gods we are mortal humans. And we should consider the fact that we're not here forever. And that is actually what makes people live a meaningful, full life when they are not shying away from the reality of, of our impending demise. Uh, in, in a nutshell, I, I don't know if that explained it well, but um, it, it's, it's not meant to be explained. It's meant to be experienced in an album. So and that's where that's my segue. It's music is, you know, when, when we don't, when we can't ex express things uh verbally or you know rationally sometimes that's why we have art and that's what that's 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 the uh that's the mountain i'm climbing with this and that's why i'm going inward and working on all this stuff so honestly i don't blame you for wanting to take a break from the uh, you know the fast-paced bustle bustle the city to take on i mean art, like you mentioned art you know is to be you know experienced rather than yes. described and everybody has a different perception of art and you know when you look at a physical form of art whether it's a photo or a film or something obviously you get a direct you know visual impact but the great thing with music and auditory you know, like kind of symbols is it takes you internal as you talked about you know finding your inside you know finding it on the intern and it, it's great it's the great that you fact that you've recognized that and Found the need to you know bring it back and take it in and you know it's so good it's so excited to hear it all and you know we're gonna die is just such a <laughs> obviously great and well written song <laughs> just everything about it was brilliant so I'm so excited to hear that I'm I'm very excited for that as well I'm excited for all honestly for like the videos and the art that's kind of come out of it because I've been having like some really fun ideas especially for we're gonna die and uh yeah I'll, that's all I'll say for now I won't I won't, I won't put the cart before the horse but because I, I love that song too and I, I just love the idea of people singing and dancing to this song about how we're all gonna die because <laughs> it's so true. bizarre actually saying it out loud it is such a great song um so I'm super excited for that now, because we're getting close to the end of time, let's find out where people can actually find more about you, whether it's on socials, whether it's a website, where can we find you, Kelly? Yeah, I would say the best way is Instagram, because that's the most, where I'm the most active, uh, and it's Kelly Swindle, K-E-L-L-E-Y-S-W-I-N-D-A-L-L, -L -L. so all, you know, 
but that can be with a Google, Google search. Just if you just type my name in, then my Instagram will come up. My website will come up my Facebook. So I'm on all those. If you're on Facebook, please go give me a like, because as we know, these algorithms very much enjoy popularity. So mm-hmm. <laughs> as much as you love or despise social media, it is helpful if you like someone to actually follow and like them, not just say you like them because yeah. the internet and that's how we learn about music these days that's that's you know uh how we do it online and so dom that's why i appreciate you having me on and and pushing me into the online community where i can connect to many people not just in my country that's the reason why we brought you know people's living rooms to you know the internet and to youtube and to everywhere else that we can broadcast to you know the world you know so we get to pe- people to hear your voices and get to know you a bit more as well. I'm so glad we got to speak again and I cannot wait to speak again in the future. Be sure to follow Kelly on her socials and thank you so much for coming on live in the living room. Absolutely great to have you. Thank you. Thanks for having me all and uh, see you all in real life in July. See you all in real life in July. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. That was the conversation I had with the spectacular Kelly Swindle and we had a performance of her brilliant song The Love You Leave which is absolutely brilliant. If you want to find out more about Kelly be sure to follow her socials, be sure to check out her website as well as mentioned in the chat just then. Simply, simply brilliant. Now in the background you will to hear another fantastic artist who has performed at the Live and Living Gives Back events in the past. He's performed at the BCMA Fan Fest. He's simply a brilliant artist. It's Eddie Smith, and he's playing his song at the moment, Love Sick, in the background. So if you do like it, be sure to give it a quick download. Now, next up is our Got It Covered segment, where Tennessee Twin are now going to be performing a cover song. And the cover is of Trisha Yearwood. The song's called She's In Love With The Boy. <laughs>
that was our Got It Covered segment here on Live in the Living Room. Tennessee Twin performing a Trisha Yearwood cover. It was called She's In Love With The Boy. Absolutely great song. Great, great band as well. You know, the duo of Jeff and Victoria from Tennessee Twin are really such a great, talented couple. Be sure to give them a follow on their socials. Their handles are just below. Now in the background is Ben Selleck with his song Soul Food, which is an absolutely stunning, stunning song. Be sure to give it a download. Really, really talented artist, Ben Selleck. Now coming next here on Live in the Living Room is a, another, another great performance from Gareth Lewis. Here he is with Things You Love The Most, which is chosen by Scarlet River PR. <laughs>
that was Gareth Lewis with Things You Love The Most, which is chosen by Scarlet River PR. Absolutely great song. Be sure to give Gareth Lewis a follow on his social media handles, which are just below. Now in the background, you'll be able to hear Nicola Harris featuring Preston D. Barnes with their song, You. Another brilliant song from those two. Preston as well is another artist that we've had perform our Live in the Living Room Gives Back events. Be sure to get tickets to that. It's happening in April. Go to our Facebook, go to our website, and you'll be able to find tickets there. It's going to be such a great, great gig. Now, coming up next is a new releases segment, which is today presented by Owen Morgan. Now it's time for the roundup of the new releases in the month of January. My name's Owen from Live Country London. The first up today is Matt Hodges' single, on the road. The next new single to tell you about is My Version by Jess T. Then the next up is a live EP from Jack Brown and it's called Live from Hotbox 2021. Amelia Quinn has a new single called River. Then there's Country as Hell by Carl Coulihan and Carlos Kane. Emma Svensson released Runs in the Family a single. Boxes released their song Devil in the Distance as a single. Then we have Ghosts on the Wall by Scott Haley. Vic Allen has a new album out called Someplace I'd Rather Be. Brad Yensky released his single Drunk on Your Kiss. Fiona is the name of the new single from Caitlin May. Kelly Williams has released her song Without You. Abby Foster released a single called Fire On My Own. There's Honky Tonk Ways, the new single from Dusty Moats. And then from Austin English, Live From The Deep Ellen Part One. Then from Mulliad, Back Another Day. Liam Wakefield releases his single, Song For My Son. Morgan Way have a new single called Wait For Me. And Olivia Lynn, I saw red. And that rounds up the singles, albums and releases that have come out in the month of January. There may be more. We'd love to hear about the other ones that you've been enjoying this month. Uh, but what you need to do is get on and uh, check out some of these great songs, great albums and great artists. I'll see you soon. That was Owen Morgan with the new releases segment here on Live in the Living Room. Absolutely great artists. Be sure to give them all a follow. Check out the music as well. It's going to be great. So much great new music. Now, in the background right now, you can hear Brian Collins with When the Sun Gets in Your Eyes, another great artist that we've had here on Live in the Living Room. So be sure to give him a follow. His socials are just below. And check out his music. Give it a download. Now, coming up next is the fantastic...
swings, but nothing but twisted thoughts. Using those words like a double-edged sword. Dive into the depths of this sorry story. That was Pat Fillet's here on Live in the Living Room. An absolutely fantastic song from Pat Fillet's there. So be sure to give Pat a follow on the social media handles, which are just below. In the background, you can hear another brilliant song from Larry Angrad featuring Millie Blooms with Snake Like You. Absolutely fantastic. Be sure to get it downloaded if you really do like it. I certainly will. It's simply, simply brilliant song. Thank you all for tuning in. It has been an absolute honour, pleasure and privilege as always to be able to present this show to you. Be sure to give all of the acts a follow, all the artists as well as all the people who have chosen music as well. Jess T, Scarlet River, Bells and Gals, DC Brown, myself, Country Chat with Dom. We've got Owen Morgan that's been in the show today. Be sure to follow live in the living room on our Facebook, uh, Twitter and Instagrams. And don't forget, most of importantly, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, we won't be able to do this show without followers like itself. It has been an absolute honour doing the show. Till February, I shall see you all then. If I don't see you February, I'll see you at the Live and Living Gigs Back event in April. It's going to be such a great, great gig. So be sure to get your tickets right now. Until then, it's bye for now.